Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can remove the uh, Metropolitan Police FBI Police Central eCrime Unit um, ransomware. Now what this ransomware does is it uh, puts up this image which totally stops you from getting at the desktop and this image appears whenever you load uh, Windows. And what it's basically saying is you've done something wrong and uh, you need to pay £100 um, to remove it. Uh, this is a total scam. It's just trying to scare you into to paying for it. So please don't do it. All these types are, are the same. Uh, the Metropolitan Police, the FBI, the UCash. They're all from the same family of uh, ransomware. So I'm just going to show you how you can remove this um, infection. Now, in order to remove this, you're going to need to boot the computer into safe mode with command prompt. To do this, as your computer is rebooting, keep tapping the F8 key. And keep tapping it until you see the advanced boot menu options. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, I'm using the virtual machine to demonstrate this, but it's the same principle. So I'm going to restart the machine. And keep pressing the uh, F8 key or tapping the F8 key and it's going to come up with the advanced boot options menu when you see this options menu you'll want to select safe mode with command prompt and then press the enter key or the return key on your keyboard you'll have to wait a little bit for this to load it up and eventually you will see the command prompt Okay, so eventually after booting up, you're going to get the command prompt here. Now, when you see this command prompt, you're going to want to type in reg edit. Let's do that one more time. Reg edit. And hit the enter key on your keyboard. And that's going to load up the registry editor, Windows registry editor. Okay. And you're going to see a bunch of uh, folders here on the left hand side. So what I want you to do is look for the folder which says HK Local Machine. I want you to double click on that. Then I want you to look for the folder which says Software. I want you to double click on that to open that up. Then come down here and open up the folder which says Microsoft. Scroll down. And open up the folder which says Windows NT. Underneath that, current version, double click on that. Again, scroll down here. And look for a folder which says Win Logon. Click on that. And in this right hand pane here, I want you to pay attention to two keys. These are called keys. So the first key I want you to pay attention to is the key called Shell. This key here. Double click on it and it should say explorer.exe. Normally, um, this is one of the keys that this infection alters uh, so that when your Windows boots up, it's going to display the infection rather than your desktop. So make sure this says explorer.exe. In this case, it does. If it doesn't, highlight everything in the box and type in explorer.exe. Take care when you type it in. Very important. It's, it must be accurate. So click on OK. The other key I want you to pay attention to is the user init key, which is this key here. So double click on that. And that should say C Windows System32 user init.exe with a little uh, comma at the end. This comma is very important as well. So again, if it doesn't say that, make sure you delete everything in the box and make sure it's exactly as that. That's the way it should be, okay? Click on OK. In this case, it is OK, so click OK. Then I want you to scroll all the way up. And uh, all the way up here and click on Windows. Double click on that. And double click on current version. Scroll all the way down. And there's two key, uh, two folders here I want you to look at, which is the Run and the Run Once folder. So first, click on the Run folder. And the run, in the run folder, you're going to have keys here, which what it's basically going to do is 
anything in the run folder is going to start when Windows starts. So it may be also hiding in this area as well. So if you see anything unusual here, like right now I've got my VBox tray running. It tells me where it is, vboxtray.exe. I know that's my virtual box, my virtual machine, so that's fine. But if you see anything unusual, it might have an unusual name. Uh, might have uh, random numbers and letters, .exe, or anything you don't recognize, you should right-click and select Delete from the pop-up menu, okay? Again, the same thing in the Run Once folder here. Anything unusual in there, you want to right-click and select Delete, okay? So I'm going to scroll all the way back up the top here, twirl all this back up. The other place I want you to look is the HKEY Current User. So I'm going to double-click on that. I'm going to double click on software. I'm going to double click on Microsoft here. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to double click on Windows NT. And scroll down again. And again, you've got this Win Logon folder. I want you to highlight that by clicking on it. And this folder should only have a shell key, not a user init key. So double click on the shell key. And as you can see, it's not explorer.exe, it's explorer.exe, comma, and then you have this folder here, which is pointing to the infection. This file is actually the infected file here, msconfig.dat. It won't always be called that, in my case it is, but whatever it says here, you want to uh, highlight it, uh, delete, and type in explorer.exe. Hit OK, and I've reset that back now to normal. So what you do is scroll up again and double click on the Windows folder, current version, and again, uh, the run and the run once folders. Look for any keys in these two folders here, which might relate to the infection. So that's really it. You should be uh, OK now. So I'm going to close down RegEdit. And what you want to do now is restart the computer. And when I say restart the computer, I don't mean turn the computer off, the power off, and turn it back on again. If you do that, the changes you've made to the registry won't be saved, and the infection will reappear. So to restart, from the command line here, type in shutdown, space, forward slash R, space, forward slash T, space zero and this will restart the computer from the actual command line which you must do in order to save the changes to the registry so i'm going to hit enter the computer's going to restart and then i'll come back with the video so now we're back at the desktop you can see that it's actually not pop popping up anymore i can access the files on my desktop but don't for one minute think that the infection is gone the ransomware is still on your computer. You still need to remove it. And for this, um, I recommend three programs to scan with. One is Malwarebytes. Oh, I'll just... Um, one is Malwarebytes. One is Hitman Pro. And the other one is TDS Killer. Now, these um, are all pretty much free programs you can use to do this. And... Um, I'll put links underneath this video so you can download each one. I'll just uh, show you how you can scan with, say, Malwarebytes. I'm going to load it up. And when you load up Malwarebytes, always, always, always go to the Update tab first and click Check for Updates to make sure you've got the latest definition files. Okay, and then click on the Scanner tab again and perform Quick Scan. Then click on the Scan button. And what this is going to do, it's going to um, scan your computer uh, for uh, any infections that it might find. And it's going to tell you here under Objects Detected what it's found. This might take a while, depending on the size of your computer, how much file, how many files you've got on there, uh, your processor speed, and so forth. But uh, do not stop it until um, 
it's uh, finished. As you can see already, I've got one object detected. So we're saying um, scan completed successfully. Click show results to display all the detected objects. So I'm going to click OK. And it's only detected one object, so I'm going to click on show results. And you can see it, it's uh, detected as trojan.zbot. And it's pointing to that folder I showed you earlier in the registry. So basically, make sure everything is detected that it finds and click on um, remove selected. It's going to come up with a log, which you can examine later. I'm just going to close it down for now. And it's saying, do you want to restart your computer? Whenever it says to restart your computer, please do straight away by clicking yes. And it's going to restart the machine. And uh, after that, your machine should be perfectly clean. But again, run Hitman Pro, run TDS Killer, to be absolutely sure. Well, I hope this has helped you. Bye-bye for now.